Mr. Speaker, to ask the Secretary of State for Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Affairs if she will make a statement on the killing of church worshippers in Ondo State, Nigeria, yesterday, and on wider issues of violence against religious groups in Nigeria. Minister. Mr Speaker, I'm horrified by the attack that took place against a church in Ondo State, southwest Nigeria, yesterday. I've publicly expressed the UK Government's condemnation of this heinous act and stressed the importance of those responsible being brought to justice in accordance with the law. The High Commission in Nigeria has also expressed our condolences to the Governor of Ondo State and offered our support. I know that the House will join me in sending our condolences to the families and communities of those killed. Rising conflict and insecurity across Nigeria is having a devastating impact on affected communities. I have raised this issue with the Nigerian authorities on several occasions, including in conversations with Nigeria's Vice President and Foreign Minister during my visit in February. And during that visit, I also met religious governors, uh, sorry, regional governors, religious leaders and non-governmental organisations to discuss intercommunal violence and freedom of religion or belief. It is clear that religious identity can be a factor in incidents of violence in Nigeria and that Christian communities have been victims. But the root causes are often complex and frequently also relate to competition over resources, historical grievances and criminality. So the UK Government is committed to working with Nigeria to respond to insecurity. At our Security and Defence Dialogue with Nigeria in February, we committed to work together to respond to the conflict. We're supporting local and national peace building efforts in Nigeria, including through the Nigeria Governors Forum and National Peace Committee. We provide mentoring and capacity building to support Nigerian police force units to improve their anti kidnap capacity, and are supporting efforts to address the drivers and enablers of serious and organised crime in Nigeria. At our security and defence dialogue, we both reiterated our shared understanding and commitment to protecting human rights for all. We are committed to defending freedom of religion or belief for all and promoting respect between different religious and non-religious communities. I discussed forward with the Nigerian Foreign Minister just last month and we look forward to hosting an international conference on FORB in July. We will continue to encourage the Nigerian Government to take urgent action to implement long-term solutions that address the root causes of such violence.